Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a H&M try-on style session video. So I actually recorded the try-on video where it was just a very fun, nothing too glamorous and it wasn't a full-on lookbook, it was just a try-on where I was showing you the dresses that I recently purchased and I've also included a lot of style tips along with the try-on in each dress. So this video that I'm going to play for you was actually meant to be a part of a vlog, but then the vlog became too long and I think it took, took you know, away from the focus of just being in a style session. So I thought, let me just create one video for it and we can just focus on the try-on and the style tips that I share. All the dresses that I'm wearing, I will leave linked down below so that you can check out the reference code, the pricing and so forth. All of them are in an extra small. I'm still trying to figure out the sizes here in Mexico. So far, an extra small works for me. It fits me really comfortably. I think the more the, the pieces that have a bigger cut, I would most probably have to go for an extra, extra small, but I can play around with it. You will obviously see that as well in the video. So I do hope you enjoy it. And before I go, if you would like more daily style tips, be sure to check out my Instagram. And if you do enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I share all things style as well as a little bit of vlogs here and there. And my next vlog will be out soon. So please do subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye and enjoy the video. Okay, so this is the first dress. How gorgeous is that? So just come closer. This is the silhouette. So it does hold in by the waist nicely, just above the waist, so it gives you that shape. This is basically how the dress is. Even when you have a look online, it gives you that shape. So even if you don't have a very small or definitive waistline, I think this will be great to you know create that waistline for you. I have basically an hourglass body type where my waist is quite small compared to my shoulders and my hips, whereas my shoulders and my hips, they are very close in you know, size. So this dress does really work for me. Normally, I wouldn't go for a neckline like this. I would feel maybe it's too exposed, but I do feel like ever since coming to Mexico, my style is changing and I wanna play around with different silhouettes. And then these pleats over here, I love the way that it just also gives you that shape. So it's on both sides. And this is what creates that illusion of your waist, which I love. And then everything else is just so poofy. It also has a bit of a lining, so that's great. And it has a back tie over here, same way, and a tie probably. And then poofy sleeves, which I'm obsessed with. And this dress I could basically wear, you know, spring and summer. You could maybe do autumn or fall. It just depends on you and what you like. So, yeah, this is dress number one. Okay, this is dress number two. So this basically is just for the flowy, the free, the days that I just want to, you know, land around. Okay. Very lightweight, no shape to it. So, you know, I do believe this will suit all body types because it just flows. I thinking, wait a minute. Okay. This is from the other dress, which I will show you just but let's just try something because I saw this. So you could do a normal belt. I might do that if I'm going to go out. But you can basically create a whole different dress. So you just have to be in front of a mirror. So basically, so it does have that line. So. Make sure that doesn't cut off your body too awkwardly. And like I said, you could do a different belt and then just put it down to where you like it. And you basically have a whole different dress. This is how I would most probably wear it because I feel like this is the most flattering for me when I go out. 
with a pair of heels. I could see myself also wearing this maybe during winter or autumn, maybe autumn with like a coat and then some boots, maybe some like brown boots, even black boots. It's got a little bit of the pattern you can see here. There's a little bit of black. Can you see that? So it's like a nice pop of color during autumn. So I would do a different belt, maybe like my black belt with like a gold detail, like a waist belt, and then you can just make it a different dress. I like the neckline. I do like a beautiful round neckline. You could layer some necklaces. You could put your hair up. You could do your hair like this. Yeah. Back. It's completely up to you. This is the fun part about dresses like this, where it has no shape. You can create shape. And I think that's like the fun part of style is us creating shape and figuring out what works for our body as well as our proportions. And yeah, I do really, really like the way this looks. I even like that it's all the tea. Like, it gives a definition. So, yeah, that's fine. Dress number three. This is dress number three. I think this is a perfect late summer autumn dress. I love that it has a lining, first of all. It is a thin strap, so that's great. I like that it has this little bow. The sleeves are long enough to wear during late summer, early autumn, even spring. I think it's great. You could do like flat sandals. During like autumn, fall, I would maybe do boots, ankle boots, and then if I want to wear it during winter, which I think is great with like a coat, you could do like knee highs, and I think that would be very cute. What I would also do is, which I think is quite cool, is I might turn this around, and then during like the colder seasons, have that in front, and then just tie this at the back, so that I'm warm here, and if I have a jacket, at least it's not exposed. I like the way this is, where this cut is. It's like not too low, so it doesn't make my body look odd. Also, this would be great for most body types. If you have a pear shape, so you do a bigger ear, because it flows straight down and it cuts off here, it could take away, you know, draw attention away from your hips and bring it up here, especially if you dye yourself up from like your face and little bit earrings on then you could draw attention away from your hips which is what you want to do if you are pear shaped yeah also another dress you know just to lounge around so let's try on the last dress this is the last dress now when i saw this dress online i thought like we got it because of this whole you know the tie and the color it's not like completely white more like an off-white creamy and then i thought like gold jewelry gold accessories a handbag like dead age sandals just like cute little slides but then when i tried it on like i don't like this part especially if you are bigger on top it will like i don't know what's happening there so i'm thinking and stay with me let's try this Doesn't that look better in front already? Okay. So, once again, no shapes. So you create the shape. I would also just do a belt here during the colder seasons as well. I think this is great for like autumn. Okay, so I prefer it this way, and then you can just rouge it up at the back, so it doesn't give you much shape here, so you got to create it so that you are comfortable. You also don't want to draw too much attention over here, so you just do that, and you lift it up a bit, because that's what's going to give me length. So if you have a dress like this and you're wondering why you feel a little bit frumpy, you need to create length. And I think this is a great way to do it. Let's have a look. So I'm just 
just do that. I like that it looks like it's a two piece. And then you just gotta do the back. For me, this is way better. I like the length that it's just above the knee. It makes me feel a little more elongated. I like that it's nice and flowy. Also, this is not too tight. I like that this is all loose as well. Like, I feel free. But then also here, yeah, it shows that it shows my weight. So it gives me that proportion, which I love. And yeah. It's a little bit thicker for summer. That's why I think like late summer, early autumn, even like during Christmas time, festive season. I know I'm thinking so far ahead, but also nice little brown boots, okay, some boots. So I don't have any boots here. I basically have four pairs of shoes that I brought with me to Mexico. The rest I left, I gave away, I donated. So I actually have to start my shoe collection again, which I'm quite excited about. So the shoes that I've been wearing now, it's just the shoe that I have on repeat and it's the only shoes that I have here. Okay, these are the dresses. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And um, I think when it comes to I think when it comes to dresses, it's all about finding the right fit for you. So you got to know like, what are you trying to, like in terms of your body type, what do you need to show and what do you need to draw attention away from? So for example, with me, I don't like to draw attention to my chest. So like that first dress was an exception because I just think the silhouette is so amazing and it gives me a little bit of extra confidence and that's not such a bad, well, it's an amazing thing that a dress can do that. You know, it takes my confidence that I have and enhances it a little bit more. So that's, I absolutely love that. So it's about finding a dress that makes you feel good and making it work for you. If a dress doesn't feel right, see what you can do before giving it, you know, returning it. And if it does not work in any way, whether you've belted it, you've tried to start in a different way, a few different ways, then by all means return it. But other than that, give it a chance play around with the silhouette, play around with different proportions and see what really makes you feel amazing.